everybody, and welcome to Henry's Kitchen, where today we're going to be making Henry's spaghetti and meatballs. This dish is very filling and not too difficult to make, which makes it the perfect <laughs> choice for feeding your hungry kids what after a long spag- day the ring. <laughs> Especially if you're a busy career gal who doubles as a proud hockey mom. Let's get started. The ingredients that we're going to be using for today's recipe are one onion, one garlic, (coughs) one canned tomato paste, one box rosemary pricks, one box fresh parsley, one stone ground mustard paste, one cumin, one salt and pepper, one red pepper flakes, one... uh, I'm lost. There's too many. One salt and pepper, one extra virgin olive oil, one egg, one bread one of those and then one pound of meat and one parmesan and one achini to pp number 78 and some tomato puree jesus we start by that's a lot that's a lot of bullshit garlic here <laughs> this is a lot harder than i'm making it look here. the onions you know they say that if you want a successful restaurant you have to serve some kind of food that you guys, can't make guys, at home guys. And you look at Starbucks and they pre- what is it with the home cooking videos and their cheap ass fuck bitch knives every time dude, just make coffee. dude how is it no cooking video but do you guys like Starbucks ever have good proper knives so it's time to start working on our meat what we're going to be doing basically is just taking all of the ingredients that we've gathered and uh, pouring them in there. So we've got uh, our onions, our garlic, and our mustard paste. No, that's not dice. That's just, that's just cut. And I like to add just a little bit of stroked pampica. No. We're going to add in our breadcrumbs, and this is just for texture. Wait, what? And finally, <laughs> one egg. You know, one interesting thing about being in your 50s is you could be reasonably sure that all of your preschool teachers are dead. Okay, so at what this point, I'm going to take our meat and I'm going to form it into meatballs. One of the areas where people really screw this kind of thing up is they make 10, 20 meatballs, and the problem is you can't... Bread crumbs in those chunks. ...sit them in the pan. Even the largest pan in the world isn't going to fit 20 meatballs, so I try to make it reasonable size. (laughs) Isn't bread crumbs usually just crumbs in the fucking bread chunks? (laughs) Okay, so... Now we're just going to put these on the stove and then we'll start working on our pasta. Okay, so I might have screwed up actually because instead of spaghetti, I got something called a what? Gina de PP number 78, which is actually little balls of pasta. So Why, why? I mean, it's all the same shit, but it, it just <laughs> might come out a little different shape or whatever. And while we bring that to a boil, let's just flip our meatballs over using a basic... Flipping technique. What the fuck is wrong? Like so. Okay, so let's start formulating our sauce. We'll start with a cap full of olive oil. So I wasn't able to find any tomato puree, but I found tomato paste, which is basically the same thing. Really? And our onions. Some fresh parsley. Well, Added our rosemary that's how it works. The recipe called for tomato paste. I wasn't able to find any tomato paste, but I found tomato puree, which is basically the same thing. No, that... Now let's stir it all up. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set up sort of a makeshift assembly line, if you will, where we're going to put our sauce into what I call our main dish, then we're going to add our pasta, 
What the fuck Final. is that? The main course of the dish, which is going to be our meatballs. It's not even cooked, is it? And now what we're going to do is we're going to transfer these from the original dish into a larger dish and hope that it mixes up a little bit while we're doing that process. And there we have Henry's spaghetti and meatballs, which is going to feed a hungry bunch right there. After a long day on the rink. Okay. And welcome to Henry's Kitchen, where today we're going to be making Henry's romantic sushi for a date. Tonight I have a date coming over that I met on Match.com, whereas most guys would probably take her to an expensive sushi restaurant and wine and dine her and spend who knows how much money. I think it shows more... I think if you make sushi for her by yourself, it shows it's more of a... Uh... Yeah, no wrong. Hi. hi. Oh, hi. Nikki. I'm so, Henry. Hi, you have a camera. Yeah. Okay. I'm taping Hi. it for the internet. Oh, all um, right. Yeah, so what I was thinking we could do is instead of going out to a restaurant or something, I could just make you sushi right here. Oh, so just stay here? And... Yeah, yeah. Well, there's, um, there's like a really great place, like right. Yeah, right I right thought. I saw it on the way here. It's... Of I'm course not real. It's, 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 it's a little sketch chill out, dude. Right? Start by taking our rice and packing it down onto uh, the seaweed here. You just want to grab a whole bunch of it. When I was younger, I used to think a better idea was to play hard to get when it came to the ladies. And I remember giving my number to this girl I met at a bar, and she called me the next day. It's a lot of rice. She called, I thought I'd pretend like I didn't know who she was. <laughs> She's on the rice then, already. Uh, she said, well, this is Susie, and you gave your number to me, and now I'm calling you back. And I said, look, I don't know if this is some kind of a scam or a joke or whatever, but if you call one more time, I'm going to call the police. Okay, now let's take some of our fillings here. We're going to take our avocado, some of our cucumber. Now we're going to put some of our tuna. And we're just going to sort of roll up our seaweed Why, with the shell our ingredients and this is the part that's very very tricky and it takes some Japanese people years and years to learn <laughs> you can see it's coming apart a little bit here yeah that side's fucked up. I'm using a sharper knife this time, which seems to be working much, much better. Now we're going to sprinkle on some sesame seeds and a little bit of soy sauce. And now we have our sushi. And now we have our sushi. Dinner is served. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> is this is this raw fish? Yeah, yeah. I that's don't know made. that that's sa safe. Um, I don't mean to be rude, but I just don't feel. I can cook it. Do you want me I to cook it? Um. Yeah, yeah. No, I totally understand. That's... Let's cook it just to make sure it's safe. It'll only take about forty minutes. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fish out here. <laughs> okay. And we're gonna put it on a cooking sheet. Um. Let's see if Nikki wants to help me make some. We're just going to stir up some mustard and some horseradish with about a half a cup of water. And that's how we're going to make our wasabi. Okay, and then just put, uh, put some mustard in there. Oh! Maybe about...
about the same. So it's Shake it, dude. A little bit more. This is teamwork. You want to do this probably for about 15 minutes. 15? Yeah. <laughs> oh, monster. It could be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Put a little so scissor on that thing. <laughs> All we have to do now is wait about a half hour and our tuna should be done. Please don't let this oh, come one on, slip man. away oh, Make her real and make her stay Cause the love's a game <laughs> so of hide and man. seek But nobody ever looks for me But this one seems like she might be different This one seems like she really likes me A world of suffering <laughs> I have known And I always end up all Oh, jeez. Okay. Our tuna should be well cooked. But now... Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take our bits of tuna and I'm going to put them back in the sushi. And this time they should be a little bit safer to eat because they're cooked. Now I'm just going to spoon a little bit of our wasabi on the side to be used as a dipping sauce. Jesus Christ. And there we go. Okay, here we go. It's cooked. Got our homemade wasabi sauce there that we can dip it into. Henry, I'm just not hungry anymore. Oh, no. I don't. Oh, yeah. It's completely cooked. I cooked I know. it for a long time. I just don't want to uh, eat that oh. at all. I oh. I actually have to go. My room oh, no. me home oh. by like 10.30 and it's already um, 9. And I just I I feel like... Um, but thank you so much. And I had so much fun making it. And yeah, uh, I just I have understand. to go though. Uh, okay. So, oh, okay. okay. Thanks, everybody, for joining me here on Henry's Kitchen, and, um, yeah, please tune in next week. We're going to make spinach souffle. Dear God, why did she slip away? Nothing I could do or say. I'm always... Guys, 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 do I have to go fight, or can I do my intro, Andy?